So tell me, what do you think the future of cancer care is? Well, I think the future of cancer care, first of all, is really bright. Great. <laughs> There's a lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of good options that are out there. And you know, as evidenced by this conference, I mean, it's full of new drugs, uh, new targeted drugs uh, that we can implement this precision medicine uh, approach. Immunotherapy is uh, incredible. Some of the responses that we're starting to see in patients that previously we didn't have a lot of uh, hope for. Uh, you know, melanoma is a perfect example. I mean, it was uh, just a few years ago that we didn't have much to offer melanoma at all. And now it's come with a plethora of new drugs that are available, whether it's targeted drugs or immunotherapies that can really extend somebody's survival in, uh, in a meaningful way. And they can have a good quality, uh, a good quality life in spite of the treatments that they're undergoing. So I think that, um, I think the future is, uh, you know, not necessarily a cure right away, but certainly being able to turn this into more of a chronic disease where people are able to manage it over time. Um, so you're essentially living with cancer, yeah. but being able to manage it through drugs and different right, therapies. Right. So similar to the diabetes story, okay. you know, 30 years ago when people were diagnosed with diabetes, they, you know, had, you know, on dialysis and had amputations right. and that sort of a thing. And, and now nobody's ever cured from diabetes necessarily, but they can manage it pretty well, you know, whether it's with drugs or insulin or that sort of a thing. They can look pretty normalized with diabetes. We're certainly not there yet with oncology, but we're getting closer. And the more that we learn about these, the more we are able to really personalize the way that, uh, that we treat these uh, different cancers uh, because it's so different in everybody. Uh, not only the cancer itself and what mutations and, and what their potential response is to immunotherapy, but also how somebody's going to tolerate those drugs and, and, and those different treatments. So I think that we're starting to learn more and more about that. The big data is, is driving a lot of that so that we're able to make decisions um, you know, based on a, a much larger population than we were before. I also think that we're seeing um, a lot more collaboration and data sharing than we used to. Um, you know, to be able to open up uh, the data points of hundreds of thousands of people uh, is a lot more important than doing than than seeing these uh, smaller studies that had dozens or even a hundred or right. two people. So. So as a physician, how, how has that impacted you as far as data and moving the future of cancer care? Why is data such a crucial part of that? Well, it's because it gives us our predictive tools and, and allows us to, to try to predict whether somebody's going to do well on something or not. Um, I think that's important because you can, um, you can, you can reduce the, uh, you know, the severe side effects that may occur if somebody's not going to respond to something. Anyway. You, you can decrease utilization of different drugs and different things. You can keep people out of ERs and hospitals if you're able to be more selective and more, uh, more precise uh, with, the, with, the, uh, uh, with the treatments that you're the prescribing. Therapies. So you mentioned a little bit ago, as far as a topic here at ASCO, is moving cancer care forward with immunotherapies, with the different drugs. How is that going to impact you as a physician? Well, it I impacts me because that's something that I can take to my patients right away. Like, it's uh, not something that's down the road. Right. I think it's right here it's now today. And here. Yeah. And yeah. Is, do you view cancer care as more predictive now? So we're moving more towards that personalized medicine approach. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, th like, like I say, the more we learn about these tumors in specific patients, uh, the more we're able to tailor those treatments and, and be more predictive. You know, we can also uh, give a better idea of what the prognosis is going to be, right. you know, based on some of those markers and signals that we see. Great.